Hi guys, welcome to this short video or review about this USB power meter. The brand name, I think that's uh, AVHCY and the model type is the CT3 and this special model was around seventy dollars it is uh, it has also this uh, load module you can also buy only the thing which uh, does the measurement but i found yeah why not to replace my old stuff with one device until now i've been using these two devices and also going to a little bit compare to this thing which is pretty much standard a lot of people have been using this and are still using this yes yeah, still in 2021 uh i for myself i still almost prefer a little bit these two things because they are much easier to use at least at the beginning i had the impression that they are much easier and they are a little bit more versatile so you can either just use this thing to measure some existing uh, load or just uh, produce this load and measure this a little bit so it has also a quick charge detection this has also quick charge but it has also pd so with this thing we don't have pd but there are newer devices which have also pd so it's a little bit hard to decide which one is uh, better but uh, these two things are definitely easier to use than this thing here and especially there's uh, not much instruction i have found a youtube video from this company which uh, also does not explain everything and the instructions manual yeah, here we have the chinese side here this is the english uh, side it doesn't explain a lot you can see there are just a couple of menus explained and it's pretty uh, difficult things so i had to talk to the seller a lot till i've been able to find uh, the functions which i needed and i'm not going to show you everything i still didn't get uh, the point how to do everything but i'm going to show you the most important things i mean the things which i'm using this is to check uh, power banks for quick charge, power bank for uh, PD capabilities and also I'm going to show how we can measure the capacity of a power bank. This is what probably most of the users also will uh, use and here we get some plate. I think that's the thing which they usually put in the back here but because we have the fan here they just put it inside so it's useless. Uh, but there's some description you can see there's some trigger here of course it's a little bit flipped over here we have pc access then we have the usb out we have the uh, usb c in i mean uh, yeah here also usb c out uh, down here that's usb c in that's here and we have the pd on off which is here so i can show you that as well so usb c in uh, PD switch yeah it's not focusing I think now you can see that here we have a USB A uh, yeah it's not described what it for and here we have the switch here for the menus and here we have the I think it's more or less like PC but also for power some of the functions unfortunately need extra power we didn't have this problem here with this thing here always uh, the thing which you want to measure gave also the power here this device says no nah, it's not enough so for some functions you need extra power that's a little bit strange here and also here we have the yeah the usb c out and the fan of course so i'm going to attach it now so you can see how this works here there's a long cable it goes from here from this power bank and we just put it inside and sometimes it turns on sometimes it does not so if you are having problems i highly recommend to use a separate micro usb power like from an independent power source and they really recommend and they write it in the menus that you should do that I mean as especially for certain functions here uh, we have the main screen you can just push here down you have a couple of different uh, menus I'm not going to show you everything but to confirm or go through the menus usually it's just a push in sometimes it's a little bit difficult to go back 
that's also not described we have to push twice like fast so when we are in such a menu it's almost impossible to go back then we just uh, I mean you can't do anything you can see you can go left and right with this thing but you cannot leave so we, to leave we just push twice so we are back then we have a menu on the left which is this forced charge and PD things and yeah go back again and, and on the right side we have the load module and also module management so i'm going back we have also i think there's a long press i have never done this long press left and you can see there are additional functions like for uh, some scripts and offline record mount usb mass storage and so on maybe we have it also on the right side as well now it's doing anything yeah that's something which happens sometimes when you are stuck and, and something not working so the first uh, thing is i mean sometimes it gives you an error message or it says or you can see there's no power no no image so uh, then use the micro usb independent power and if it's totally not working not doing what you want then just unplug it sometimes uh, that's the only way to go back to the main menu reset it get rid of errors just unplug and wait and then plug it in again and usually it will be back to the main menu so i go right long press and you can see there's also a different uh, menu with a uh, day date time and the temperature i don't know what we can do from here i think there's not much i go again into this menu yeah there's not much i don't know uh, why they made it uh, so it doesn't help a lot what's important here that's the main screen uh, where we see yeah, power uh, like the voltage and the amps and the milliamps and milliwatts uh, sometimes we have numbers here so of course when you have been doing a load test and to reset we long press here and then we can clear uh, yeah we go to clear this group and uh, of course there's a lot of other things here a lot of menus but just to clear it we clear this group and then it's everything on zero so let's continue uh, right away with the load load test so load test I'm not sure if we can do that without extra power. I think we need the power, but you can then right away see how this will be with this error message. So we go to the right side, go into load module, and you can see it says, yeah, we need micro USB power. We just plug this in here. Uh, I don't know if we can get rid of the error message just by plugging this in, uh, or we have to just press cancel, or we have to reset. No, yeah, we just pushed here, and then it's okay. So let's go again to the load module. Then we have different options like constant power, constant current, or ramp up uh, mode. So usually. Uh, what I want to do is, of course, like it's constant current. So I want to discharge, let's say, with one amp or so. And so we can set it here. We just push again and we can uh, increase or decrease. So we push again down to confirm. Now we are on one amp. We can also set the protection. So this is uh, as far as I understand, that's the uh, threshold where it would stop so i don't know maybe we set it to four uh, volts or so in in in, in this area i think the default was 2.5 or so yeah i go with this one here and so now we can start the thing and just push down and then it starts and we can see it's also pulling some load here 0 0.2 but you can definitely see it's lower here we are just pulling 0 0.2 and maybe that's for the fan i don't know and here we are actually pulling one amp so the power is definitely not coming from this micro usb from here the power is definitely coming from this power bank i know why it's not showing any percentage here but it's definitely it has to come from here there's not enough power that it comes from here so i'm definitely testing this device here so what we don't have if we want to know the total amount of milliamps uh, but this is what we don't see here on this menu unfortunately uh, we cannot go left or right and then activate this i don't know why this is here but 
without I mean when we push here then it stops immediately you can see it stops and we can start it again but the thing is there's no way we can see the uh, total milliamps but we can leave the menu with double pressing and it doesn't stop so don't hesitate don't think yeah, when you push it will then stop no it it's going to the main menu with double push if you or at least if you're uh, fast enough so I'm trying this so I was fast enough and you can see here now we have exactly what we wanted to see we see the voltage we see the amps we see the milliwatt hours and we see the milliamp hours this is exactly what we wanted to uh, see and so we will have uh, at the end a, a reading when the as soon as the voltage goes uh, below the threshold we'll see the uh, capacity of this power bank here so i can go back here into this load module and can stop this thing and you'll see maybe we are 99 percent yeah we have used one uh, percent here so that's a thing here also let's go back and see regarding the quick charge and pd capabilities we have we are on usb c here actually i think we can get rid of this thing for these tests so let's try and see uh, by the way if you want to check pd we have to uh, put the switch here on the right side uh, for everything else it's on the left side so it's a little bit uh, yeah it's almost impossible to see this and uh, usually i forget and then i wonder why it's not working by the way this thing here you can see it has a nice thing where it detects uh, how you're holding it and then it, it switches the screen usually it works pretty good so anyway so i'm going into this option here on the left side then we have uh, these fast charge triggers uh, yeah there's a warning of course it will increase the voltage so if you are attaching some something else which is not built for high power at the same time into this uh, power bank it could be destroyed so be careful so we have like the qc 2.0 we can start this measuring here you can see we have these five volts we can see what's uh, everything supported we can go right into next level that's nine volt next level 12 volts and if you want to go higher it says no okay it's not supported so um, you can see uh, how it's working uh, what's supported yeah what's also important by the way uh, you can do a fast charge release because this, it, this is probably still on high voltage so if you want to make sure that uh, it cannot destroy anything so just do the fast charge release so let's uh, go again and do the quick charge 3.0 testing here it looks a little bit different so we have also the 5 volts but then there's not like these chumps here i think qc 3.0 has like smaller uh, chumps you can see what we are going up, up up to 10 11 volts 12 uh what's the maximum here it's, yeah it's okay it was still at around 12 volts how can we find out uh what it's really supporting there's a much easier thing we can actually go yeah let's do the release and then go into the fast charge auto enumeration so we uh, push down here and then yeah there's something else uh yeah oh no it's it's starting i i thought i have to uh, release the cable and plug it in again but it, it, it's working sometimes when it's not working then really uh, unplug this cable push it back and then do it again so here you have the details what it's supporting yeah, now it's a problem i don't know what happened but now it's finished and it's saying yeah it's supporting samsung uri some apple stuff and you can see the voltage what's supporting and uh, that's exactly same thing when you do this with the usb a as long as it's supporting qc i mean here we have the, usually the green thing the one which is not green usually is not qc i mean it depends on the power bank here we have it just here and i could do same test with the usb a to c i'm not going to do that i'm not going to waste your time even more here i spent already a, a lot of time here so i'm not going to show you that it's exactly same thing just with the other port other cable 
but what I'm going to show you is the PD. The PD is only available, of course, on the USB-C. It's not available on the Quick Charge on the USB-A. So we will have to go back as well. And now we go into Fast Charge Trigger again, but we go uh, to the Power Delivery. And so it should be possible to see what it, it capable to uh, deliver. 5 volt, 9 volt, 12 volts, and uh, you see the amps which it's supporting at this uh, voltage. So I think we have been uh, doing everything that I have been uh, promising at the beginning of the video, and I think you should have now a good impression what this thing can do. Of course, it can do much, much more. This is just like uh, the basics, but at least it looks like it's possible to use the basic to the basic measurements which we were used uh, like to do with such devices and um, looks like we can really replace that sometimes it's a little bit uh, more difficult when we need extra power and the menus are a little bit more difficult and what i'm missing is definitely something like this uh, where you can just increase and decrease uh, like the power or uh, the amps or, or, or these things yeah this is uh, really or was really helpful there so here when you want to change the uh, amps in the low test you have to always go with this trigger and go back in the other menu and then increase or decrease go back uh, switch menus and so on this is this was much easier here with this device even though it's a uh, uh, pretty uh, cheap. I mean, in total, these devices were almost only half price of this one, but I see there's a difference. I mean, this is new technology. This is uh, much more capable. Um, by the way, this cable, I have really no clue why we would need this cable. I haven't used that and I don't see the need. Also, what we get is this uh, screen protector. There was something on it, like a, somehow a, a kind of screen protector, and maybe you can see that here. I've tried to remove, and I have made a couple of attempts, and uh, I haven't been able to really remove everything. There's still something left here. It's a shame, uh, yeah, that it's not possible. I mean, there was something uh, like a flap, and you could just pull it, and then it. Uh, split into the different parts and the, at the end now this thing is left I have really no clue how I could remove I mean I can still use it but it's a little bit uh, disappointing that we get uh, such problems with uh, the device in this price range but apart from that I would say uh, it's not bad the biggest problem with this device is really the instructions which really don't tell a lot and the support i mean i've been talking to support and they i don't know if they are not capable or not willing to support for every question you have you have to write them about 10 times and every every time you get just a small piece of information and after maybe 10 times uh, writing them you have everything together and it's just something which they could answer easily uh, in, in in one email it's it, it's a pain but i mean at least we have some support and they are willing to uh, try maybe they are just not capable uh, to answer this properly in, in in english i think they are having some problems uh, but still i mean my english is also not the best but i'm still trying always to be helpful but these guys yeah, i don't know i mean <laughs> if there would be an alternate uh, solution for something like that with these uh, possibilities um, this price range yeah probably would be better to choose something else but i think there's really nothing around so we have to deal with this and uh, but at least it's working and after watching my video you should be able to use this for normal stuff and uh, yeah that's actually it for now i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time